the next step is for us to actually start working on each of these functions here we're going to be starting with creating a record in the database uh, so let's just start from here by now you already have your notes on how to create a new file and how to edit files and so on so i have a code snippet that i have just copied here and i'm going to attempt to explain uh, what this is so i also made a change here uh, my create file now accepts account number and user details so that when i want to use it i'm going to supply account number and then send the actual user details that i want to save uh, i will take this out now the next thing i'm doing is to open a new file the name of the file is going to be the account number which i have to convert to a string as you already know and then i'm trying to save it inside this folder that we created earlier so everything is organized i mean you can also decide to say user record so that i mean you can have other classes of other uh, forms of data being stored in that particular folder so i think i'm going to do that i'm going to create a new folder inside this one and say user record and then so that means i can have another folder and say uh authentication session i'm going to be explaining what that is later but for now let's just work on user uh, record so every user will be saved in here as a new file mm -hmm. and we'll be using the account number to save them and it's going to be a basic text file so you can i mean this could be a json file but uh, we've not really talked about that so i'm going to be using just a normal text file to save them uh, so the data i'm going to be writing into the file so i've created a file here the data I'm going to be writing to the file is going to be the user data, which is what I now have here. And then I'm closing the uh, the file that I opened. It's always a good idea to close the file, which you should have in your notes by now. Uh, okay, so let's just try this out. I'm going to call this function down here. You know, this is a separate component I'm building on its own that I will then use for this particular one here. So let's test everything in this component and be sure that it works before we start using it here. So let me call this function down here. I'll say create. And then I'll just go back to this page that I already have a sample user here. And then I'll say that's which is the account number. Remember I have account number. And then I'll add the user info as a list. And that is what I have there. So once once that gets here, it gets saved, and I should be able to see it here. All right, so let's run this code. Okay, there seems to be an error somewhere. It says the argument must be a string, and I'm trying to pass uh, this here. So that makes sense, which is fine. So I just need to convert this particular thing to string. I can't send a list i can't save a list inside a file so uh, you it doesn't really make much difference i'm going to be showing you uh that it doesn't really make any difference it's still going to saving be, be saving what we want it to save and it's still going to be working the way we want it to work all right so let's uh do this okay the file already exists it's created earlier this is one of the reasons why you need to try uh i try accept uh method before you run things like this because if this does not did not succeed i i think i should just have deleted the file that was created here uh, so let's note that if so let's just say if file uh, uh saving to file fails then delete okay <laughs> created file so that way we don't have the issue of oh the user already exists even though the user data was not saved so i'm going to come here and just delete this file and then run the code again so once i run the code i'm not outputting anything but i expect the file to have been created inside this folder so let's open that up so you see that file once i open this you can see my user is now in this uh file here so this is this this works uh, another thing we can do is to 
I mean, we could try to use dictionary here, but I think I'll prefer to just stick with um, stick with a list for now, so we don't complicate any any issue for ourselves. Right. So we've been able to create a simple file, which is fine. That's not what we want to do really. This is what we want to do, but that's not supposed to be the end. So let's add a try here. Because if you don't use the try for this, then I don't know what else you use a try for. Uh, so we are going to try to create a file. Try to write to the file. And uh, if that fails, let's check what error it gave us earlier. For whatever reason, if we get a file exist error, that's one of the errors we could get. Then what should we do? We should delete. So I'm going to add a comment here. Delete the already created file and print out error then return false and then of course we'll now add a finally here which will now have a uh, so anything that happens in try anything that happens in except doesn't really matter we have to still close that particular file um, so you should have this in your notes also but finally means anything that happens here doesn't really matter anything you write in finally will still run so let's just print out an, a message here saying file user already exists um, but okay is that what I want to do yeah I think I can do that um, is already exists so should I then create the should I then delete the user if the user already exists what if the it, it's a, an actual user that exists with the data in there um, does that make sense? So the issue I had earlier was the fact that I created the file quite all right, but there was nothing inside. So if that happens, I should definitely delete. I should definitely delete the uh, the. Okay, you know what? I'm going to use else here. Yeah, this makes sense. So I'm going to use else. Um, should it be here or after except? All right, let's try this first. So I think it should be after except because I'm going to let's see. Yeah, it should be after except. So let me explain what this is. Uh, I need to add some space so it's easy for everyone to read. So what I'm saying is I'm trying to create a file. If the file is created and there are no errors, I'm going to come here and add um, the user details to that file well if the file was not created and there is an error that means the file already exists so um, I can delete that file and then recreate the user again so I, I mean I, it might not be the most efficient way to uh, do this because right now I'm thinking of a normal database if a user already exists in the database then you should not decide to delete them or recreate them again but because we are just trying um, to make things work like a database, I'm going to leave this this way for now. We, I could come up with a way to optimize it later, but for now I'm just going to leave it this way. And we are going to be carrying out, uh, we are going to be returning false here, because that fails. And uh, if this works, then we finally return, return true. Uh, the problem here is it's not going to close the file if I return true here. So, um, so let's let's just use a variable um, completion state. Uh, this is going to help me. So it's always going to be false, and then I'll return it here, and then um, I'll set it true here, and then I'll return it here. So if it gets here, then it's going to become true. If it doesn't get there, then it's always going to be false. All right, so that 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 kind of makes sense. So we have already we have created a function to create a new user in our database. Let's see if we have done everything we wanted to do. Create a new file, name the file, and we've done that. Add the user details to the file. Return true. If saving the file fails, then delete created file. So the delete method is what we are going to be using here. 
uh, we've not written that method that's the next thing we're going to be writing but let's use this function sorry i called it method it should be a function uh, so let's use this method uh, this function inside our file here so we already have database here i'm just going to come to register everything is still the same thing i'm going to come here and rather than do this let's comment this out i'm going to say database dot all right so uh add um is user created so this is checking if the database operation that i try to perform succeeded so database dot create and then i'm going to enter my account number which is fine because it's just an integer being sent and then i'm going to send this also here so i can then maybe delete this and everything looks neater now and finally i'll check if is user created then do all of this otherwise uh print something went wrong uh please try again and then we run the register function again okay that that's kind of easy we've already done this before all we are just doing here is um changing to using our database rather than um just saving it to a list that never gets used anytime all right so this should work uh, i'm going to try it out now let's delete this uh, i think this should work let's delete this also so there is nothing here so that we are sure that it works and then i'm going to come here okay i've already commented this out i'm going to delete it i'll be pushing this to the repo so you have access to it but I'm, I, I would prefer to delete out anything that is redundant and taking space all right so let's try to run this code uh, i hope we are still initializing yes we are so open the terminal clear this and then run python main dot py so do you have an account with us no uh what is your email she at zuri dot sim what is your first name my first name is shay my last name is onifade i uh, create a password for myself password and then this is my account number so let's see if it actually creates here i'm expecting to see it here and that actually created oh i forgot to delete this did i yeah i guess i did hold on ah right this is why that actually still happened all right so now i have to use us so let's open this and my user was successfully saved uh if i also check here my user was successfully saved so this works uh creating user works let's try it again we've not done login so this obviously will not work so i'm just going to uh, terminate this by the way that's by doing ctrl c we terminate that let's clear it again let's run the code one more time create another user i don't have account uh, my email is at ymail.com uh, what is my first name my first name is Shay. my last name is Onifade again <laughs> uh, create a password for myself password 2 and that actually still works let's see if it creates the file so I'm waiting for that to get loaded okay it does and the third one is 78 and everything is still working properly so this is kind of straightforward we still have a lot to do though uh, we have to we need to check if the user already exists before we create it uh, so that's where this comes in uh, we need to go into this and check if any of these users already have if their email is already in use then we create the account because right now i i mean it should not be possible for uh for one person using the same email address to create multiple accounts in the same system so account email email, email address should always be unique and which is what we need to implement uh next time but before we go into doing that i will prefer to implement the delete function implement the read function and possibly implement the find function so that it's easy for me to just find out if the email already exists and use that to determine if they are able to create account or not